Hello, my name is Giuliano Campo, and I'm going to discuss shortly elements of the legacy of Yegi Gatowski in relation to Konstantin Stanislavski. Um, I'd like also to pay homage to Rena Mirechka, uh, who died on the 31st of uh, August, and is one of the key figures of, of uh, Grotowski's uh, legacy, as she was the leading uh, actress uh, of uh, Teatro Laboratorium, um, the leading trainer uh, of the physical plastic exercises, and one of the initiators of um, Paratheater, a prominent teacher uh, and uh, pedagogue in, in the domain of the so-called work of, of the self. It is in this domain that we find the connection between uh, Grotowski and Stanislavski, beside and beyond professionalism. Rena and Zygmunt Molik were the only uh, former actors of uh, Theatre Laboratorium that never went back to professionalism, uh, separating uh, themselves uh, from the, the way uh, of theatre and continuing on that way of life that Grotowski had opened to them uh, when he left the company uh, and the theater of productions. Of course, when we elaborate on the concepts of uh, legacies, lineages in the 20, 20th and 21st century European theater, we have to be careful because unlike the European theater of the past of the 19th century uh, and theaters from other regions uh, regions of the world, we don't have specific forms that are transmitted between the generations. We could more correctly speak in terms of influences and re-elaboration of um, uh, theoretical principles and pragmatic discoveries. We can make a list of people, uh, practitioners, uh, artists, scholars that have been influenced by Grotowski including the actors of the Theatre Laboratorium, uh, assistants like Eugenio Barba, uh, guides of the Paratheater, pupils from the University of Irvine, uh, from the expeditions of the Theatre of Sources, from the War Center in Pontedera. Um, and we can think of another long list uh, of Stanislavski's pupils and collaborators. However, Grotowski, himself uh, warns us about the risk of a misunderstanding uh, of a transmission of knowledge. He considered Stanislavski to be his father, his personal idol, and added that uh, Stanislavski's methods evolved while his uh, disciples did not, as each of them stuck to his particular period. And the same can be said um, for Grotowski. Grotowski says that uh, it true uh, disciple betrays his master on a higher level with action, instead of repeating his formulas and terminologies with specific reference to uh, American followers. He adds that most of uh, Stanislavski's uh, disciples murdered him after his death. There are exceptions, uh, and perhaps the most significant is Mayakod. We can argue that this was because he was murdered right after Stanislavski's death, once he lost Stanislavski's protection. But that's not really relevant. Um, Miracle, despite all differences of temperament, of uh, aesthetics, uh, and all arguments that he had with the master, is often considered the most faithful of Stanislavski's pupils, and indeed was designated by. Um, uh, him uh, as his successor to uh, the opera dramatic studio. Um, and Merkold was a reference point for, for uh, Grotowski. And particularly important is Merkold's uh, symbolist period, his collaboration with Ivanov and his experimentations with uh, empty space, movement, and ritual art. Hoover says that his uh, reduction of uh, theater to its essential nucleus with the axiom strip the theater, prepared the way for the poor theater of Yezhi Grotowski, half a century later. I tend to agree. Uh, we tend to believe that Grotowski completed his uh, Stanislavskian training and became a disciple of Stanislavski when he moved to Moscow and studied at, at Gitis under the supervision of actor Yuri Zavatsky. However, we have to listen to what Grotowski said. He said that he already knew everything 
about Stanislavski when he moved to Moscow. In Moscow, he used to spend his nights uh, in the library reading Merkel's texts. And here the dates are important. Grotowski stayed in Moscow from August 1955 to June 1956. Khrushchev's speech at the 20th Communist Party Congress was made public, uh, made public uh, 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 Stalin's crimes, uh, dates February 1956. So Grotowski explained that he did his readings at his own risk, hiding himself because Merkel's materials were not yet uh, publicly released and were still considered uh, dangerous by the regime. In other words, Grotowski went to Moscow to study mayor code, not Stanislavski. Evidence is that before moving to Moscow in 1954, Grotowski had already published an extensive study on Stanislavski's method of physical actions inspired by Doporkov's book. And the method of physical action is indeed another fundamental point of connection between Stanislavski's and Grotowski's research. Grotowski, Grotowski says uh, that this method came from Stanislavski's discovery that emotions are not subject to on will, while what one does uh, depends on the will. Stanislavski himself considered this his artistic testament, uh, rejecting his own term of emotional states and uh, directing the actor's attention to action rather than unreliable emotion, to elements of behavior connected to the mechanism of reacting to others, to combine impulse with intention, rejecting empty gestures, and they all organized as a line score of physical actions. And this was a way to reunite art and life beyond professionalism. It is clear that the extremely long, exhausting, and detailed work on Tartuffe uh, was not aimed at the mise en scene, but was a pure experimentation on the way of life. In fact, this appeared absurd for theater making, as we can see from Bulgakov's uh, theater, uh, theatrical novel. However, here we can see a shift a difference of approach between the late Stanislavski uh, of the Opera Dramatic Studio of 1935-1938 and Grotowski. Uh, for Stanislavski, action here is still an extension of the idea of emotional recall through the what if uh, and uh, given circumstances of the role. The, the work is still connected to the character. For Grotowski, the action refers directly to the performer's own life. Stanislavski was reaching the unconscious indirectly, while for Grotowski, what is not consciously fixed is released. This is the impulse that precedes every physical action and only exists in relation to a partner, real or imaginary. Uh, here, the Stanislavskian necessary line score of physical actions is accompanied and preceded by a current of impulses. And Grotowski uses uh, the metaphor of a river. The score is the river banks, but the current of the river is always new, unforeseen. The work aims at breaking blocks and personal and professional stereotypes to free creative energies, to overcome the opposition of precision, that is the domain of consciousness, and spontaneity, that is the domain of instinct and emotion, seeking an organic personal reaction, uh, reaching nature in man, universality in the eye of the individual. Paradoxically, we find the seeds of this research far back in Stanislavski's biography. Uh, we, find, uh, we find it um, the, the nucleus of this research in the experimentation on uh, tempo rhythm, 
that uh, dates back to 1914, 1915, um, totally detached from the character and only focused on attention and the human being and become central after what Ruffini calls the tragedy of the village of Stepanchikovo in 1917. It is during his classes at the Bolshoi uh, Theatre Opera Studio in 1918, from 1918 to 1922, that Stanislavski states that uh, the objective of the work is the achievement of the heroic condition that takes the actor beyond one's own self for a second birth of a new I. Throughout the seven steps of, uh, on the path of creative work, he invited the pupils to forget about their own selves, to become instruments of beauty, to unblock individual energies, to uh, achieve unity in beauty through love for their profession in full attention and trust on the unconscious. Grotowski summed all Stanislavski's quests in one single fundamental question, that is the experience of life. He went further by helping the performer to bring beauty to the spectator or witness by doing instead of playing a character. To conclude, uh, both uh, Stanislavski and Grotowski aimed at a transformation of energies through a mechanism of higher active trance, moving from precise expression to objective expression. And finally, as the outcome of the creative work, at a complete, complete regeneration of the being. The answer to the fundamental question is therefore simply creation in truth. Thank you.